Hello, Facebook friends. Okay, are you guys ready to have your mind blown? I'm going to talk to you about prebiotics and probiotics and your breastfed baby and their gut and what we can learn from understanding the breastfed baby's gut. Okay, so when I was blessed enough to go through my training to become an IBCLC, we learned a lot of amazing information about babies. Hey, Carol, so glad you're joining me. And one of the amazing things that we learned that um, is kind of new information for the breastfeeding world, well, and as many of you maybe know, like we, we actually know very little about breast milk. We are learning things all the time. Yay, hi, Tina. Um, we're learning things all the time about breast milk, but we really don't actually know very much. Uh, we make speculations about things, but there's still a ton of research being done on breast milk. And I actually just today was reading an article about um, some scientists who actually like accidentally found out that breast milk has a certain kind of cell that target and kill cancer cells, and they're really working at utilizing it for cancer treatment. And I have been saying this a long time, like, I can't wait for us to utilize breast milk for cancer treatment because breast milk has like stem cells and things like that. Anyways, breast milk is amazing. Amazing. Hey, Annette. Hey, Kristen. Um, so when it comes to breast milk, and I want to say this is like definitely within the last 10 years, but maybe even within the last five years, we discovered a new component of breast milk. And that component of breast milk, we were very confused by because it turned out that this component in breast milk was not usable by the human body. And it was like a large amount of the breast milk was this component that's not usable by the human body. Hello everyone, hi Yvette, um, hi Brianna. So we thought why on earth would the human body, would a woman's body make this product, like the majority of her milk, that's not usable by her baby's body. How does that make any sense? What is this? Why, why, why? So it turns out that what this mommy's milk is making that is not usable by the human body is actually what we now call a prebiotic. It is food for the bacteria of the gut. So when a baby's born, they have not grown their beautiful flowery garden of bacteria in their gut yet. That's part of what they have to do. In those first few months, babies are gassy and they can be uncomfortable and they are growing their bacteria in their gut. And they get that implantation of those seeds of the bacteria in their gut from their mommy's milk. But what we didn't realize until recently is that a large component of mom's milk is not the bacteria itself, but it's food for the bacteria. So it's not usable for us but it's usable by the little teeny organisms that are inside the gut that need to be fed. So the mommy nurses the baby, the baby gets this initial kind of seeding, so to say, of these good bacteria, and then the mom's milk has food for the bacteria. Food for the baby, sure, but food for the bacteria in large amounts, and we call it an oligosaccharide. So oligosaccharides are not usable by the human body, but they are usable as food for the bacteria in the gut, okay? So we call the, that food a prebiotic. So a probiotic is the bacteria itself. So often, um, as we get older, we realize we should take a probiotic. We should re replant those seeds of the good bacteria. But in order to help the good bacteria grow, a prebiotic is actually going to be food for it. So what's kind of amazing to me, as I was just reading this the other day, is that when we look at a breastfed baby's gut, so a baby that's only ever had breast milk, we know now that the breast milk component has a large amount of oligosaccharides, like more than half of the components of the milk are oligosaccharides. And when we look at a baby's gut that is exclusively breastfed, that has only had mama's milk with all those oligosaccharides, the two bacteria that we see most prominent growing, like the good bacteria, the probiotics that are being fed the most, are bifidobacterium and bifidobacteria and lactobacillus. Those two we see in a breastfed baby's gut, bifidobacterium and lactobacillus. Now, if you look at any probiotic, anyone who, as an adult who's taken a probiotic, you're going to see on the back of your probiotic, if it's got more than one strand, it's going to be one of those two or it's going to be both of them, bifidobacteria and lactobacillus. These are really, really important. And so in a baby's gut that's breastfed, that has all of this prebiotic oligosaccharides coming in, those are the two that are the strongest. Those are the two that are the most prominent and we know that that is the perfect gut. Now, a baby that's getting formula fed is going to have a mixture of 
different bacteria. There's not one that's predominantly there, and it has much lower levels of the bifidobacteria in particular. So a baby who's got a formula-fed gut environment is not, it doesn't have the same garden, so to say, if we were looking at it as if it was a garden. They don't have the same garden. Now, we also know that formulas don't have prebiotics, but but watch, watch. Within the next couple of years, we will see advertisements, I'm sure, about formula now with food for your gut bacteria, now with prebiotics, now with oligosaccharides. Because, of course, formula is always trying to make a product that's as good as breast milk that will help babies as much as breast milk. And we're very thankful for that. I'm glad for the advances that we've had in formula. Goodness, you look back at formula 30, 50, 60 years ago. It's not nearly what we have today. So I think this will be one of those changes. Now we realize breast milk is mostly oligosaccharides to feed the gut bacteria. We are gonna see that happening in our formulas that we're giving babies as well. Because we're really gonna to attempt to get a gut that looks like an exclusively breastfed baby's gut. That should be the blueprint for what every person's gut should look like for life. Your gut should look like the gut of a breastfed baby that has only ever had breast milk with a lot of with bifidobacteria and a lot of lactobacillus as your two main components in the gut. So now we know that. We know that a baby that gets breast milk for that first six months especially is going to have this phenomenal growth of those two bacteria. And we know that this prebiotic, this oligosaccharide, is what is really feeding those two bacteria. So, we really can see that oligosaccharides were like literally the first prebiotic that human beings have ever had. We've been having prebiotics since the beginning of time in mom's milk. Ah, it's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. And like I said, there's still like we, there's still so much we don't know about breast milk and so much we don't understand. Um, I was just listening to something on the way home that was saying that uh, whether you have a male or a female baby, the components of milk are different. It was really interesting to me because I've never heard that. I know every single day your milk changes its components based on what your baby needs because when your baby latches on, our body actually absorbs the saliva from the baby's mouth, takes inventory on what the baby needs, and adjusts that in our body and gives the baby back exactly what the baby needs. So I don't doubt that it's different for boys and girls and for a six-month-old and a newborn baby and a three-year-old. It's all different. It's just phenomenal to me. So the other thing that's kind of blown my mind lately, and um, I just have to share it because it's fascinating to me, is that, so when, once I started learning all this about what a baby's, a breastfed baby's gut should look like, of course the first thing I did is I go to my probiotic to see what strands of probiotic do I take. And sure enough, in there is bifidobacteria and lactobacillus. And just recently, I'm sure a lot of you have seen, because there's been so many of us flooding Facebook with all this information about our new Slim that has a prebiotic. So of course, I'm like, well, what's the prebiotic? I want to know. And the prebiotic, turns out, it's called XOS is what we say for short, but it's an oligosaccharide. It's a X is something oligosaccharide. It's a hard thing to say, so we call it XOS. But it's an oligosaccharide. And guess what all their data showed? That when this oligosaccharide went in, it promoted the growth of bacteria, the bifidobacteria and the lactobacilli. We're basically drinking breast milk now. I'm just kidding. That's not true. <laughs> but it's kind of amazing. It's amazing that we've been able to target the prebiotic that literally mimics the breastfed baby's gut that mimics what the milk is doing for a baby's gut and we're now able to give it to people that are adults who need to get their gut back to the way it was when they were itty bitty. So if you're looking for a prebiotic, you gotta find one that's gonna support bifidobacterium and lactobacillus because as a baby, a breastfed baby with a perfect gut, those are the two bacteria we see in the highest amounts. So it's exciting. It's exciting to me because I feel like, like I said before, kids are our blueprint for exactly what we should be, what we should be aiming for when it comes to gut health. And um, I know there's a lot of companies who are starting to do this, and I'm so excited that the company that I choose to work for is doing this, is looking at this research and is saying, you know what? We can do this. We can get some oligosaccharides into our drinks so that your wonderful garden in your gut can grow better. So um, if you're curious more about some of the data, we have phenomenal data that has been run on our products on increasing the bifidobacteria and the lactobacillus. Bacillus. Um, I'd love to share that with you. But how amazing is it that our babies get that from mommy's prebiotics from mommy's milk, which is phenomenal.
and so exciting to me. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know because I love to talk to you guys about breastfeeding and babies and understanding their gut health and, and our, our gut health, really, as adults. I feel like we all need to get back to the way things were right when we were first born and our garden cut to be planted for the first time. So if you have any questions for me, um, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful, finally sunny day. It's been cold here in Southern California, but today it's nice and warm and sunny. And if anyone's watching this who's local, I'll be at the Branding Iron teaching dance in a little while. So feel free to come and join me. We'll go dance a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me. Hey, Kristen and Brianna. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Micah. Yay. And Wendy. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, keep, keep healthy. Keep healthy if you can. All right. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.